Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number five. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. All right, we're here with the Volkswagen Drivers Club. Uh, we're going to be taking the Golf GTI. We'll get ourselves a VW Golf R32 as a reward for this. Um, we've actually done something fancy to this Golf. So we've actually converted it into a uh, four-wheel drive car. Rather than it being the basic bitch, two-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, shenanigans. Uh, starting off with Maple Valley Raceway, moving on to Suzuka Circa. Then finishing off with a little bit of Sukuba. Let's get going. All right. All left. All up and all down. Let's get going. Tell me, does he know where your heart lies? Oh, my God. That four-wheel drive. This has no engine upgrades. That was just four-wheel drive doing that. <laughs> Holy crap. The four-wheel drive system in this thing is killer that I've just put in. Where it truly lies. I'm going to try and get a thumbnail of the next car. So the next championship. Just because there's no point really doing the same one. People watch our YouTube send help. Please, we need help. <laughs> I'm not forcing no one to be here. What do you mean? <laughs> he doesn't know how to sing. That's a fair shout. I do not know how to sing. But for you to enjoy music, you don't have to be good at singing it. Just got a vibe. A vibe with the shit, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh balls now that's how it's done that was a 360 entry into the corner <laughs> I know you are Aaron new 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 nymphs nymph nymphs nymph Nymphs, nymph, nymphs, nymph, nymphs. Where it truly lies. <laughs> That's a fair shout. When Sweden is playing Denmark, it says S W E dash D E N. The Romanian letters not used is D E N and M A R S R K. <laughs> Sod Denmark. <laughs> Truly lies. And my baby. Where it truly lies. There we go. Across the line. With a lovely 3 minutes and 13 second race time. We got three and a half grand for that. Not bad. I'll take it. All righty -o. We got uh, the car behind us. The driver in its name is actually M. Rossi. And uh, is actually very well known for being quite a powerful AI in all of the Forza games up until Motorsport 4. You see M. Rossi a lot in Motorsport 1, 2, and 3. Oh, wait, no. 2, 3, and 4. Not one. 
Because one, I don't think I actually had AI driver tar names. Oh, this is cool. My favorite circuit is in this game. <clears throat> I love this track with a passion. I would love to go to Japan and experience, like, Sakuba and Suzuka. I'd love to go to Japan. Experience the car culture, go driving around the tracks, that kind of stuff. Banana, 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 Not bad. You go there, you don't go for the cars. Well, yeah, you go there for the cars. Japanese cars are fucking mental. Some of the Subarus, the Mitsubishis. Now, I wouldn't be going there for the anime. I'm still not a fan of anime. And that's the only... Th like, I don't mind the Japanese culture. It's quite a cool culture. But the anime I just cannot get into. The sunlight hurts my eyes. Put on those shades and wave to yesterday. The sunlight hurts my eyes. What a tune. <laughs> the sunlight hurts my eyes. Not bad. There we go. Not bad. We got three minute and two second finish. I think that was three hundred two point seven seven five. Not bad at all. All right, here we go. This is it, the final race in this Golf GTI, and I assume I probably won't have to take it again. What I will have to do is stand up after this race, because my ass and my back is killing me. I've, I've actually done something to my back today. We went out all day walking for, like, a couple hours. And uh, every single muscle in my body fucking kills. But uh, maybe not every muscle, but my back hurts. Not ideal. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, a little bit of a drift. Woohoo! Yeah, no, I, I really... Yeah, I mean, as soon as I start talking about stuff... The views stay. People are interested in my crap somehow. <laughs> but I got a lot of things to talk about in this stuff. This is why I sort of see this, um, the content that I put on YouTube. It's almost like a racing game playthrough, but almost like with a podcast element to it. That's why I think it's fairly unique, the content that I put out. Because a lot of creators, they'll sit and they'll just talk about the game over and over again and a lot of the time say the same shit over and over again so to the point where actually the stuff that I'm doing is sort of like uh, talking about topics, talking about stuff whilst playing through this game obviously we still talk about the game, we talk about the new stuff, the old stuff but yeah we talk about all sorts of stuff but bid too much what did I say
I love this song. Float on by Modest Mouse. And we'll all float on, okay. We're at 11 viewers now. Unbelievable. Welcome, everyone. Hopefully, you are enjoying the content. If you are, feel free to drop a follow, drop a share, drop a whatever. Oh, I'm in the bin. That's where I belong, anyways. If you had a dollar for every year the universe has existed, you wouldn't even make the top 50. Yeah, because there are some rich assholes out there that won't pay their taxes. Because if they paid the taxes, the poor wouldn't have to pay as much. I say the poor as if, like, we're the poor. We've got a substantial amount of money, but we're still getting fucked over. <laughs> 3,000 credits, not bad. Driveline upgrades by VW Motorsport. Awesome. And we've also got uh, first place in the Volkswagen Drivers Club. So we got a 2003 Golf R32. Four and a half grand. Result. Look at that. That's a beautiful car. I think that's actually the car that we drove that we would have been given on uh, Motorsport 1 as the first car, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, but we're going to move on to the next one now, which is the Integra Cup. And we got this one, the uh, Viz Racing Integra. I believe uh, this should be the right level. Yeah, it looks about right, so we won't need to upgrade this. Uh, starting off with Suzuka Circuit, moving on to Sakuba, and then Maple Valley Raceway. Let's get going. All right, here we go. The Viz Integra. By the looks of it, we're the only one in this car here. Fair enough. Tell me, Dad. Load up your six shot, baby. Put it to my head. Pull the trigger. Blank eye figure. Put it to me, Dad. It's actually pretty cool that this uh, car is in both games. I think that's a pretty awesome thing. The funny thing is, right, I, I'm going through all of these trying. Um, to what's it called? I'm trying to go through all of this. Humans are really bad at recharging. It takes about eight hours charge for sixty hours of use. It's uh, fair enough. Yeah, that makes sense. But then again, you could say Oculuses are re even worse because you can only get about two hours of use standalone on it, and it takes about three hours to charge that. So, I could say the same thing about an Oculus. They're pretty shit at charging. An Oculus is worse than a human at charging. It's got got <coughs> and the funny thing is, I get six hours of recharge for 18 hours of use. Because I go to sleep at like three in the morning, I wake up at nine at the moment. When you get cotton. Ah, oh, another Wilkinson song. This is brilliant. The cool thing is, this car is very... Actually, no, this is an Acura Integra. So this is the American version of Honda. But technically speaking, it is still very much at home in Japan. Just can't sell Hondas as Hondas in America or something. I'm not 100% sure. <coughs> yep. 
Yeah, but the way they get you is then they get you to walk back to the front, and by walking back to the front, you end up walking past other stuff that you're going to want to pick up. And that is, a, there have been many people that have thought that. And they thought, hmm. But we could make more money out of this. There's a lot of things in life that behind the scenes people have thought about and been like, but we can convince them to do more. New, 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 new. Take you higher and higher. I'm gonna take you higher and higher. There we go. Across the line. Woohoo! I'll take that. Alright, here we go. Sakuba circuit again. <clears throat> Charming. This is a short one again as well. Okay, interesting. The one thing I am curious to find out is does going in the pit lane when it comes to the endurance events actually slow the game down? Because I know in uh, Motorsport 1 it slowed the game down so much. Even when an AI went into the pits, not just you, it slowed the game down. <laughs> I'm right up his ass. <laughs> Let's go up the inside. Ah! Little bit unstable there. Oh, I forgot to shift up. <laughs> I'm gonna take you higher and Go, yeah, not bad. We got this lap and the next lap, and then we're done. Actually, no, we got another one as well afterwards. Or just use a password to say. That would work. There's a, again, there's another psychological reason behind it. Because if all the lights were ticking at the same time, you'd see it as one thing. And that way one vehicle doesn't stand out. If there was a line of cars and all of them would tick at the same time, at the same speed. And one of them was actually ticking for the other direction, you wouldn't see it as much. Because you're not focusing on each individual light, you're just focusing on a line of lights. There's a psychological reason behind it. And a lot of um, things like that. There's a lot of hidden meanings behind why they do shit. Alright, not bad. We got a relationship with Lexus and we're now level 13. Woohoo. We have 10 people watching stream right now. 
Which, by the way, chat, for everyone watching, we are streaming this again on Wednesday. More Forza Motorsport 2 content, so stay tuned for that. I think we're going to be doing it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday that I can actually turn up to and do. Back to your roots. Ah, oh, let me see you shaking your boots. Come back to the old school. Back to your roots. Ah, oh, let me see you shaking your boots. I'm not going to lie. Back to your roots by, uh... What is it? Johnny L? Such a tune. Not wrong. <laughs> if there's ever a chance, I'm gonna a hundred percent hit. <laughs> if I'm, a, hang on, hang on. Let me read this again. If I am a hundred percent confident that if I ever hit a kid with my car, it will be because I'm staring at my speedometer in a school zone. That is a hundred percent correct. Because the amount of times that you've got to check your speedo in a school zone. Especially when it's one of those variable ones where it's like, oh yeah, during the normal time, you can go at 40 miles an hour. But if kids are coming out of school, yeah, 20 miles an hour. So you've got to like actively look down to make sure you're not breaking that speed limit. Because you're so used to going at a certain speed that you end up running a child over. <laughs> Guaranteed. Let me see you shaking your boots. Come back to the old school. Back to your roots. Oh, let me see you shaking your boots. Come. Oh my God! I've gone. I'm in the bin. Bin bag. <laughs> Agreed. To your roots. Oh, let me see you shake your new boots. Come back to the old school. Back to your roots. Welcome, new people. Welcome. Seems like a very uh, questionable name. <laughs> back to your roots. Oh. Let me see you shake in your boots. Come back to the old school. Back to your roots. There we go. Oh no, I realize that my songs have a lot of swearing in but i just cannot play them at all out loud when anyone else is around unless it's in my own bedroom in which case no one can tell me what the fuck to do uh we've now got a 10 percent discount on flywheel upgrades by toda usa these upgrades are available made by on cars made by acura infinity lexus and sion charming let's see what we got from that as well We got 2200 Mugen Integra Type R. We got four and a half grand as well. Is this an actual Honda one though? Yeah, this is a Honda Type R. Basically the same as the last car, but for the Honda brand, not the Acura brand. And we've got 90 grand in the bank. Not bad. Uh, that is all the level events done up until level four. Five, I believe. Uh, and mathematically speaking, we have completed 13 events and we are 14.44% done. Very nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.